Hey guys, it's Mike Mass. Welcome to another one of my lithium upgrade videos. In this film, I'm gonna be going over a system that I designed specifically for the Renegade Super C motorhome. This system is so efficient that aside from running all the appliances in this coach, you can actually run the rooftop air conditioner for up to 10 hours just on that one Lithionix battery. In fact, during a test, I was able to run both the front and rear air conditioners at the same exact time using just the one Lithionix battery and the Freedom 3000 watt inverter. How's that for efficiency? This same lithium system with a few changes works just as well on Class A's like this one or even bus conversion. In my last lithium upgrade video, I designed a system for Type B Plus and CRVs, which I installed in this leisure van model. Using Lithionix and a Pro 3000 watt inverter, it provided over 10,000 watts of power for extended off the grid camping. This RV was also capable of running the roof air conditioner for 8 to 10 hours on a 50% cycle. If you missed this video, you can find it and other RV topics on my personal website at rvvolt.com. Getting back to our Renegade installation, first up my design entailed moving the house batteries from their original open air compartment behind the front tire since its location would expose my electronics to extreme temperatures dust, water, or even salt spray during winter. This new location is a larger compartment on the passenger side, which is sealed from outside elements and moisture and allows full control of temperatures. I purposely located the lithium battery inverter in the same compartment to allow me to capture free heat generated from the inverter as well as additional heat from the aqua hot unit located in an adjacent compartment. This design allowed me to supplement the lithium battery's internal self-heating system to save power and provide continuous operation during freezing temperature. Another benefit of heating is lithium batteries are considerably more efficient when they are kept around 65 degrees. For summer use, all three compartments are vented together for roughly 43 cubic feet of air volume. This provides sufficient convection cooling for the inverter and solar control without having them exposed to outside temperatures and elements. My design also allowed mounting the inverter just inches from the BMS and lithium battery to allow for short cable runs and near zero loss. As you might have already noted, unlike other lithium battery installations with a boatload of car batteries and dozens of exposed connections, the Lithionix battery, housed in its aircraft aluminum case, only has two power leads to the BMS. Also note the oversized beefy Lithionix battery connections as well. Before we get into our lithium installation and wiring, I would first like to say a few words about this amazing coach from the folks at Renegade. The Renegade coach body sits on a rigid Class A Freightliner chassis, powered by a Cummings 9-liter diesel engine, which develops 1,150 pounds of torque to an oversized 3200 Allison and a driver controlled locking rear end. Thanks to Verona's short 34 foot length, high ground clearance, low 12 foot 2 height with virtually no overhang and a locking differential, this coach would go places other RVs couldn't even think about going. This coach is quick as well and capable of reaching 60 miles an hour in just 22 seconds, making it the fastest RV in its class. It's Verona's unique power to weight ratio that allows it to pull more weight than any coach in its class. Even though this coach comes with a massive 20,000 pound hitch, if we were to overlook the hitch's limitations for a minute, since the Verona weighs just 24,000 pounds and has a 60,000 pound GVW, it could hypothetically pull 36,000 pounds or three times the weight of even the larger Renegade Cassadia with its 505 horsepower Detroit engine and 1,850 pounds of torque. Let's change gears now and look at some of the features built into the all-electric Renegade, which helps make our lithium system more efficient. For 2020, the Onan 8KW generator now offers a new inverter design. So instead of the engine running at a constant 1,800 RPM, it runs at much lower speeds to supply demand. This means it spends most of the time just above idle. Another plus is the Verona is now supplied with a Samsung 18 cubic foot refrigerator with a new digital inverter compressor. This pump is capable of running at seven different speeds, reducing its draw to only one to three amps instead of over six and a half amps of the older units. For owners who run their AC on lithium power, the new Dometic Mach 10 heat pump 
now only draws 9 to 10 amps, which is 7 amps less than last year's model. This means additional runtime and easier starting on lithium batteries. Renegades are now all electric and propane free. A diesel-fueled aqua-hot system circulates hot coolant to the RV's five registers to heat the interior and the water bay. When plugged into the grid, there's also a 110-volt element heater used to save fuel. Okay guys, let's get back to our lithium installation. But first, I'm going to turn the mic over to Linda, who is my partner on system design, labor, and this production. There's little doubt the integration of lithium batteries to RVs is the one largest advancement to motorhomes in decades. Lithium is also changing the way we use our motorhomes, and more importantly, the way we live in them. Lithium affords us the opportunity to create our own power grid to use our appliances anytime and anywhere we travel. This offers us the opportunity to drive past crowded and expensive campgrounds and stop at locations of our choice, away from civilization. Lithium gives a whole new meaning to the term self-contained. In this film, Upgrading Our Renegade to Lithium, Mike designed two separate systems titled Lithium Light and Lithium Super. Both of these 30 amp systems provide huge benefits of extended off-the-grid time. The Lithium Light system offers an affordable option which more than triples your AGM battery's capacity. The more advanced Lithium Super system offers six times the capacity of flooded or AGM batteries and is even capable of running the RV's roof air conditioner. Our Lithium Light system uses a Lithionics GT Series lithium battery with a 300 amp rating and 3,840 watt hour capacity. Let's look at a few short clips to show how a lithium battery compares to an AGM or flooded battery, and also how a lithionics battery stacks up against most imported lithium batteries. Without getting over technical, a few key advantages of lithium systems is they can be discharged up to 95% rather than just 50% with AGM batteries. Lithium offers a five to 10 time faster discharge and charge rate. Most important to RVs, lithium is lighter and requires less space. When it comes to performance, the same Group 31 pack from Lithionics has a 125 amp hour rating, 1600 watts of power, and can surge to 400 amps. In retrospect, the import has only 100 amps, 1280 watts, and can only surge to 200 amps. This makes a major difference in power and usage time. When it comes to batteries, Lithionics is the oldest and largest supplier of OEM lithium cells in the industry for RVs. Lithionics performs numerous tests on each cell before assembling into packs. Next, the battery pack and BMS are tested together and cycled numerous times under full load, all while undergoing infrared imaging to make sure heat dissipation is equal and all cells meet specs. On our lithium light system, we use Xantrax's new Freedom Pro 3000 watt inverter charger, which provides big performance in a small lightweight package. Let's look at another clip to show the many advantages of the Pro 3000 when compared to the Magnum inverter. As part of our installation, we replaced our supplied Magnum inverter with Xantrax's new Freedom Pro 3000 inverter with charger. As shown in this example, the Magnum 2000 watt inverter is nearly twice the size of the more powerful Pro 3000. There's a big difference in weight as well. The Magnum 2000 weighs 42 pounds, while the Pro weighs only around 18. While the Pro 3000 inverter has more than enough power for large Class A and Super C RVs, its compact size makes it ideal for smaller RVs like Class A and Class B Plus models, and small water vessels. The reason the Pro 3000 is so compact, is for the fact this new generation inverter offers solid-state electronics. This means the large bulky transformer is no longer needed, allowing the Pro 3000 to be lightweight and offer a small footprint. Another plus is its easy installation. The Pro offers a removable panel for easy access, with push on 110 volt connectors. Other features include a 50 amp transfer relay, and the ability to surge twice its rated power for starting AC units. The Pro also has a surge feature which puts it to sleep to save battery, then wakes up automatically when needed. 
The Pro 3000 also comes standard with a 150 amp battery charger. If your RV has lithium batteries, it's no problem, since a lithium charge protocol is included. Even though the Pro 3000 has its own built-in display, there's also an optional Bluetooth remote panel as well to allow full access to every available menu right from your phone app. Regardless if your inverter needs are for an RV, or marine use, the Pro 3000 from Xantrex, provides big performance in a compact size. Our second Renegade system, titled Lithium Super, is a power system using a Lithionics GTX 630 amp pack with over 8,000 watt hour capacity. This battery offers the ultimate in both performance and safety. The battery is housed in a UL 1973 approved aircraft aluminum case. As these images show, the battery had to withstand aggressive abuse during the crush test at the UL laboratory. Amazingly, the battery still worked perfectly. To enable year-round use during freezing temperatures, the GTX battery can be equipped with an internal heating system built into the pack during manufacturing. Let's look at a short clip to better explain how the Lithionics battery heating system works. Aside from a number of other advanced features of our Lithionics battery which powers our Renegade, our pack is also equipped with a built-in heater for cold weather use. Unlike import lithium batteries which are designed primarily for only summer use, the Lithionics battery is designed to be used year-round. While most battery vendors offer an external 12-volt blanket heater for their lithium batteries, since these blankets are exposed to cold temperatures on the outside of the battery, they can consume 50% more power than an internal heater. This is important, since the battery itself is powering the heater when you're off the grid. Another disadvantage with external heaters is they fail to heat the lithium cells equally. This causes an offset in equal cell balancing voltages, resulting in lost capacity. In retrospect, the Lithionics battery heater is installed during construction using a proprietary silicone convection element design. These heater elements are stacked between the cells and therefore an integral part of the battery system itself. As this graph at minus 4 degrees shows, the internal heater keeps the battery at an efficient temperature of around 55 to 60 degrees. This is important since this same battery at 30 to 40 degrees will have overall less power. Therefore, a heated battery provides more a capacity, plus the ability to charge at low temperatures. At minus 4 degrees on a 50% cycle, the Lithionics heater only consumes 15 to 30 watts an hour to maintain all the lithium cells temperatures equally between 55 to 60 degrees. Another plus, is the Lithionics heater may be shut down completely, or even be powered from a separate 12 volt or 120 volt source for storage. The Lithionics heater is fully automatic, so there is no monitoring needed from the RV owner. The Lithium Super System also includes a Lithionics Never Die battery control unit. This BMS offers full Bluetooth capability, providing the owner full status of the battery system. Most import BMS modules use low-cost, solid-state switching, which are prone to heat-related failures when passing high current. The Lithionics BMS uses military-grade silver alloy mechanical contacts, sealed in a gas environment. In order for the BMS to meet UL requirements, these contacts were required to open and close continuously for 6,000 cycles under full load. The Never Die BMS also provides ports for CAN bus interface, serial port, Ethernet TCP and IP, as well as other handshake options. Its amp seal connector provides needed logic to trigger the ChargeMate Pro battery isolator to control charging from the vehicle's engine alternator. The Freedom SW3012 inverter provides full 30 amp service. Its internal charger provides up to 150 amps for quick recharging with its provided lithium protocol. The 3012's charging features allow setting levels, search, and power sharing, which monitors active loads to automatically adjust charge rates. For user interface, we included the SCP control panel. This provides graphical display for the system's configuration and diagnostic information. Everyday selections such as inverter, charger, and shore power amps are on the main page, eliminating menu searching. 
If you happen to be upgrading from an XC1000 or Magnum inverter, Xantrex offers a network adapter, making your stock wiring compatible with the 3012 and SCP display. Our COM box is Ethernet connected to our onboard MoFi 4500 4G cell router with Wi-Fi to allow video streaming direct from the 4500's built-in Wi-Fi. This is simply added to your plan like a tablet. As a side note, Mike is not a representative of Renegade, Xantrex, or Lithionics Battery, nor any company mentioned in this film. Since his work entails designing and building lithium-powered military drone aircraft, the OEM lithium equipment used in this film was purchased through his company. While it's not within the scope of this film to provide wiring instructions, both the installations shown in this video will require major changes to the RV's 110 and 12 volt factory wiring. While Mike performed 100% of the work in this project, if you're considering an upgrade, we highly recommend that you seek qualified help since both the house wiring and lithium components contain lethal high voltages. This concludes our film on upgrading an RV to lithium power. While lithium comes at an expense, when you consider its many advantages for recreational vehicles and its longevity, its investment far outweighs its initial cost. If you would like to see other articles or films from Mike Mass, I invite you to visit his personal RV website at rvvolt.com. Thanks for watching.